trying to give Moop the battle with him, but he trying to do it on Bags and Bodies, which is Hitman's Battle League. Now, it's a little gray area with that because I don't feel like Moop trying to battle Hitman on his league because of the logistics of the whole thing. They got a grudge match going on. These two don't, they don't really like each other for real. And you can tell they don't because some battlers, they, they cool behind the scenes. And then when they battle, it might be looking like they not that cool, but they usually be cool behind the scenes. With with these two, you didn't, you know, we didn't heard a few little stories, you know, Hitman didn't put out a lot of information, Murder Mook didn't put out a lot of information. I'm gone, four shots of Patron, got me, got me in the zone. Your girl keep asking me to fly, I'll leave me alone. You need to mind your business. World, it's your boy T-Man, right back at it, right back for another day of this battle rap. So y'all already know what it is, man. We talking about Hitman versus Mook. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this was supposed to have been went down. This was supposed to have been went down. Politics sometimes get in the way of this. It's just like boxing. You know what I'm saying? It's just like boxing. You be having politics. Be a reason why sometimes these big bouts that you be wanting don't happen. And it sucks for the fans. But at the same time, the individual that's performing... He got to look out for himself. So they got to make it happen. But they not about to just take anything just because they know fans want it. But in this case, in this case, though, uh, it seemed like to me, Hitman is willing to take a little bit of the money he going to get off the top just to make sure this go down, which is cool to me because a lot of people ain't willing to do that. But when you set yourself up in life, Put yourself in a good position sometimes you can do the unordinary and that's what hitman plans on doing so look he trying to give moot the battle with him but he trying to do it on bags and bodies which is hitman's battle league now it's a little gray area with that because i don't feel like moot trying to battle hitman on his league because of the logistics of the whole thing. They got a grudge match going on. These two don't, they don't really like each other for real. And you can tell they don't. Because some battlers, they they cool behind the scenes. And then when they battle, it might be looking like they not that cool. But they usually be cool behind the scenes. With, with these two, you didn't, you know, we didn't heard a few little stories. You know, Hitman didn't put out a lot of information. Murder Mook didn't put out a lot of information. Which leads me to believe this is a grudge match. They don't they don't like each other. You see what I'm saying? So so Moot giving Hitman a tough time. And and I think Hitman is just like, you know what, I'm gonna wipe my hands with this battle. I don't think it's gonna happen. Um just listen to this real quick. Get a little bit of you know what I'm saying, just hear this real quick. What up, what up, Jones? I what up, eh? I got what up, Tim? I got two questions for you. So, what up? Um so first do you feel like it's a? Do you feel like he don't want to be looked at like he's being booked by you? So that means he's a smaller entity than you. Do you think that's the main thing? Um, you you asked me that a drone. You asked me that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. So the thing is, <clears throat> I cooked the shit out of Jones. I'm <laughs> so, waiting. So look, I'm waiting. We gonna talk. So, <laughs> so what I what I feel is I knew probably the first thing that was on his mind. That's why I offer him 50%. You see what I'm saying? So I offer you 50 to cancel out because now you got to do it. Say, yeah, you booked me. What you gave me 50, nigga? Like, that cancel out because I need this, this. In order for me to make it happen, and I'm the only one that can make it happen, I got to book Murder Mook. So for Murder Mook, the only, you got to be thinking, well, he's the only one that can make it happen. A league never, ever gave me that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I still can fuck around, walk off, walk off with $400,000. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can, we still can chop up 800, 700, ain't no telling. So, fuck it. And then your whole press run can be that. Like, man, the only reason you booming ain't nobody big. Like, nigga, I'm the reason that happened. Like, there's so many ways you can kind of get around that. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why I don't respect it is because when I offered you that, if you would have said, let me think about it from the jump and didn't say nothing else, then I got to honor that. That's what he's thinking about. But you told me 50%. So evidently, you're not worried about me booking you because you, for you to do it on bags and bodies, you want 50%. I gave you that. So what's the problem now? 
Okay, I see. Oh, see, you know what, ARP, I kind of agree with you. He got to stop throwing numbers out there because he keeps saying 800,000. You see what I'm saying? Thank you, bro. Thank you. I'm sitting here like, Thank you. Thank you. I like, yo, I, I got to call Nick Cannon, nigga. This is just so honey. I need you all wild out, nigga. Fuck that. No. Nah, holla, 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 holla knows what the fuck he's doing. I'm minding my business as I always am. I get a text message. This shit don't got no description, no nothing. Join the space. I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga on? Yeah. I come in here and I hear this shit. I don't know yeah. what he's doing. He just wants somebody that was also I, knows this shit yeah. to hear too. That, yeah, you know I what the fuck he's doing. I learned, so, I learned a lot from question, ARP. Question number yeah, two. Come on. Question, yeah. question number Mook two. ain't gonna like this either. You know that. You said, I, heard, I heard you say something. You said you, you and Big, Mook and Big K is not at a million views. Uh-huh. And you said Big K said Frozen yeah. Charlie came out so after put, put, y'all. Put, put that under your belt. Are, are you saying... Yeah. Are, are you yeah. saying 2024 Frozen is a big yeah, draw? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm saying. Good shit, wrong. Yo. Good shit, wrong. So, so Hitman offered Moot 50% of what's, what they make off of the YouTube. Uh, he even was giving them a percentage of what they made off the pay-per-view. Like he basically giving making this a split deal, cause Hitman the one putting up all the money. He putting up hundreds of thousands of dollars because he trying to make a a a, a, a classic type of car. Like he trying to get some real battlers over there that people want to see to um, open up for them. So he not trying to like have a bunch of like, you know, no disrespect to bags and bodies trenches in some of these other upcoming leagues. But he know that for them to get the return that they want, they're going to have to have some more explosive battles on there besides Hitman and Moot. They're going to have to have some big names. I don't know who these big names is he's he talking about getting, but he's trying to pay some real bread to get some real battlers over there. And like I said, this ain't no shade or no shot to anybody that's on like trenches or um, bags and bodies like they fire. They fire and they up and coming, but he trying to get people that's more solidified that have been in the game for a minute making noise so that he can recoup the bread because what he trying to do is he telling Mook once he get once he get back the money that he paid for the hotels, you know, the battlers to battle and things of that nature, once he get all that money, he recoup that bread, he pretty much going to split Everything else on the pay-per-view that's left over with Moot, which makes sense because he's not about to sit up here and pay $200,000 for this car, then give Moot 50% of the proceeds because Moot not putting no money up. So if he only taking 50%, by the time Moot, um, by the time Hitman actually recoup his money, Moot then made way more money than him because that $200,000 got to be accounted for for Hitman to do this. He got to get that money back. Which makes sense. That's just good business. Mook ain't trying to hear it. Mook then basically switched it up and said, yo, I'm trying to do 70-30 split. Now we getting outrageous with it because why would he do a 70-30 split? Because now he really losing. He paying for the artists. He paying for the flights. He paying for the hotels. He paying all of that money and then... The money that he's needing to recoup that money, he's splitting 70-30 with Mook. So now Mook just got free getting paid to do the battle, getting paid off of the streams, getting paid off of the YouTube drop, all of that without having to invest any money. Because that's smart business on Mook behalf because all businessmen know you want to spend other people money. You know what I mean? That's how you get rich. You spending other people money to get rich so you're not spending your own money. But you dealing with another savvy businessman who not about to fall for that, you know, because he look at it like, yeah, Mook, you a draw, but I got Miss Hustle want to battle Hitman bad. Everybody know that. Um, Lux and in, 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 um, Hitman been supposed to go down, but that ain't happening because, you know, Lux about to battle Rum Nitty. So you ain't going to see Lux for another couple years after this. I mean, unless he outside he gonna do like he did that one year where he did about three battles that year but i don't know he maybe he will maybe he won't but you can't count on that with lux uh who else he was saying that people they want to see him in twerk battle which i think would be good 
but you just can't rely on twerk these days. Uh, who else? He was saying he a battle rum nitty, which a lot of people want to see. Like it's some big names that he can get out here and he can battle, but instead he trying to make this battle with Mook happen, and it's mostly for the culture because a lot of people do want to see it. But in the end game, I think that Hitman also thinking like that's somebody I got to get out of here so that I can state claim to being the best battle rapper of all time. I think that's what Hitman really want to do. He want to be considered like the best, not possibly on Mount Rushmore because he don't even get that many Mount Rushmore looks. But if you beat somebody like Murder Mook, that kind of automatically puts you on Mount Rushmore and if he ain't already on there. And that puts you in a position of where now they talking about you as possibly being the greatest battle rapper of all time. So I think that's why Hitman went on Spaces to try to let it be known this is what he trying to do with Murder Mook because that's going to that's going to um, shoot his name up there. Even though Mook ain't as big of a draw as he used to be. And that's just because Battle Rap evolved. A lot of the stuff and a lot of the style and stuff like that that Mook got going on. It really ain't hitting for it like that right now in these days and age. For real. But at the same time, since it's Murder Mook, everybody going to give him a chance. They going to see. Hey, is we going to get something like what he did with Geechee? Or we going to get something like how he used to get busy back in the day? Or... Or is we going to get some of the mediocre mook, like the Big K and stuff like that? See, when you putting out, you know, Big K battles, at the end of the day, <laughs> the way you played it, you messing up your stock. And then another thing messing up your stock is you went MIA pretty much ever since the little situation where the house got hit by the, uh, by the boys. And, and, and people talking about personal stuff with that living situation and everything like that, which me, I'm not going to get into that because I don't know that circumstance. I, I was seeing it and I kind of was thinking like, man, is this how I'm living? But in, in in the grand scheme of things, I ain't, I ain't got no, I ain't walked in the man's house. So I can't really tell you what it's like. The footage could be deceiving sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm not even going to trip on that. But at the same time, he might be worried about somebody like Hitman being able to expose that in the battle. And he want to make sure that he getting paid top dollar so he could be talking about it through the battle. Like, I got, I'm got, i getting paid way more for this than you and it's your own league type stuff. So it's a lot of different variables that we can put in into this and we can, you know what I'm saying, hold on to. But I just be personally, I just want to see the battle. I want to see if it can happen. Um, I need Murder Mook to come out and say what his side is because I was really just hearing Mook's side. I mean, not Mook's side, Hitman's side. And, you know, ARP, he, he was doing a lot of the talking too. So I don't really know where this is going to go, but all I do know, I'm interested to see what's going to happen. We're going to talk some more battle rap too on the channel. Um, Y'all know how we do it over here at Top Flow. It's, it's not stopping. Y'all go ahead, like, subscribe, share this joint, man. Let everybody know what we doing, man. How we giving it up over here with Top Flow, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think Mook is tripping for asking for the 70-30 split, him being the 70, Hitman being the 30? Or do you think that Hitman might not understand that Mook is who he is, and if he gonna do this on bags and bodies and not no no other league, no middle ground league, he gonna ask for a lot because he know that you got the leverage. It's almost like it's a home game because it's your league, and that's what I think is going on. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Top flow. It's your boy T Man. Right back at it. Right back for another day. Of this battle rap. One hundred.